for a little walk around Westminster today. It's an area of London. I've obviously like passed through a lot, but I haven't really explored. So we're just walking around the back streets, looking at some really nice residential houses that, yeah, literally haven't changed in forever. So beautiful, so cute. I love this one with the balcony. Yeah, we just have an explore. There's G with G and Mo. Oh, this is our walking gang. <laughs> G has brought us to see this building because it's really weird. It is a bit weird, isn't it? I haven't actually seen a bit, any buildings like this before. Very odd. We have come to a pub for a pub lunch. I've got fish and chips with curry sauce. Just finished up at lunch. Um, we went to a restaurant called the Blue Boar, which we were really excited to visit because it is, I think it won like London's best pub. We had very high expectations and the food was nice, but it definitely wasn't worth the price point. I wouldn't recommend it. If you read reviews, it probably wasn't as good. Also the service was not good, but we're just walking through now. St. James's Park, we've just walked past Downing Street. There's a lot of security, present, police presence here. I'd, I've never walked around this part of London before. It's very, yeah, just grand and beautiful. The buildings are so spectacular. Look at the entrance to this hotel just off Pall Mall. So beautiful. London Eye peeping in the background there. just been witness to my Monday morning routine this is the routine that I've had for the past month month today Monday morning I'll wake up I'll do a little bit of work in bed then I'll jump on the peloton do a workout do some stretching get in a shower fully pamper wash my hair and then I sit on my bed with a cup of tea ready for the next stage in my Monday morning ritual. So let's talk about body hair. I dread to think how many hours of my life I've spent, how many days of my life I've spent shaving. But for the past month, every Monday morning, I've been using an IPL device. And I wanted to share this because one, I'm starting to see results already. And two, because I think you guys are gonna like it. I haven't used any other at home kind of hair removal other than shaving for about 10 years. I used to try to epilate when I was a teenager. It was the most painful thing ever. I hated it. And then I did try an at home IPL device about 10 years ago. It was huge, a big bulky thing. It took forever to use. I didn't see results quickly and I stopped using it. So when Current Body reached out and asked if I wanted to try out this, I said, hell yeah, I haven't tried one of these in a really long time. So I thought I'd show you how I use it today and also show you some results. An IPL is an intense pulse light which basically helps to stop hair growth and it basically works to target the melanin in your hair to break the growth cycle and it uses powerful but painless kind of pulses of light to kill the hair follicles deep down at the root so they stop producing hair so this is the smooth skin pure mini it is very mini and it takes me about 10 minutes if that to do my whole entire body use it once a week for 12 weeks and then after that you use it once a month because your hair growth will be so so minimal i'm going to show you how i use it i'm going to plug it in it comes with this little device which kind of um you slot onto the top and it makes the kind of area smaller so you can reach like targeted areas i've been using this on my bikini line and underarms and then i use the full big one for my legs it's not very loud at all it just kind of sounds like a fan the first time i used this i was petrified it was going to be painful but it actually isn't in fact it has a gentle mode as well so if you click the little feather 
it turns blue and that means the light will be less kind of intense so I tend to use the blue on my bikini line just because it's a more kind of sensitive area so I've just turned it off I've turned it on full and I'll show you how I use it okay if I pop you here you'll be able to see how quickly this takes If you just keep holding it down and it's in good contact with your skin you can use it in a gliding motion which takes no time at all or you can use it as a stamp motion okay so i've done my legs and my bikini line that took about six minutes i'm going to show you how i do it on my underarms i've put a little vest top on so you can <laughs> see what i'm doing without me completely revealing myself and for this bit i move over to my mirror i wonder if i can hold you and do it at the same time mm, will this work <laughs> um, i'm going to put it on the gentle mode here there we go and then because the armpit is so kind of yes yeah, a small patch of skin it doesn't take many so i just do a couple of different kind of pulses jubbly with this smaller attachment you can also do facial hair so like if like me you get a little tuft of hair you could do it there I haven't done that yet because I've been using retinol and obviously you've got to be really careful with sun protection when you're using retinols or retinoids so I haven't used it on my face yet but when I have a bit of a break from that I'm definitely gonna be trying it on my face because that would be amazing I'm gonna let my hair grow now I'm not gonna shave for a few days so that I can show you a before and after after four weeks so I'll film that later this week and probably insert it in here future Katie coming in here. It's exactly a week since I filmed that last clip. I haven't shaved my legs in about five days and I wanted to show you what they're looking like. Bearing in mind this has only been using the at home IPL from Smooth Skin for four weeks, like four times. I'm going to show you what my legs are looking like. I'm going to insert some clips of what my legs look like if I hadn't shaved for four days before starting this. So you can kind of see what that looks like. I haven't shaved in four four or five days and I thought I'd document it here so from far away they don't look too bad but then you look up close and they are pretty hairy I've got dark kind of hair if I don't shave for four or five days my legs are hairy they're not overly dark but the hair is there and it's all over compared to now I don't know if you can see this but there are kind of some patches where I have hair growth saying that it's not as long and it's a little bit more sparse but on some parts of my leg like around here especially there is like it is smooth there's like a couple of rogue hairs if you can see that but for four five days without shaving this is what my hair is looking like this side is definitely a lot more patchy i need to work more in this area i think with the device underneath there's like hardly any hair there i don't know if you can see this but yeah there's just big patches where there just isn't hair growth anymore and where there is hair growth it's a lot less so i am very impressed a couple more things to say you need to shave before you use it it's not going to be able to penetrate and you can kind of smell burning hair like there are a couple of patches that i've gotten like just missed and it kind of just smells like burning hair proves it's working you can't use it on tattoos um it also helps with like pigmentation in the skin if you have age spots or wrinkles it has anti-aging benefits because it's reaching that melanin in your skin there are some great before and after pictures on their website so you can kind of see age spots disappearing i'll leave a link to it down below and yeah just very excited i'm at a really perfect time that i'm using this because we've got our honeymoon next year and we're going away for like 10 days so i am just so excited to potentially not have to take a shaver with me and not have to spend my honeymoon shaving my legs and my armpits i'll just be able to chill and relax and not worry about being slightly hairy on my honeymoon so yeah it's come at a really good time i am going to sort my hair out now Whew. we are putting our tree up oh, we're just on the lights we're not both of us aren't very happy with the lights this year i think because we've only got kind of white clear string rather than 
black or green it's just really standing out I'm, ho I'm hoping it's just because there's nothing else on it now but I've got all the decorations out <laughs> I've got I reused some chocolate tins from last year to store some of our decorations oh yes I got this big one from paper chase I haven't bought any new Christmas decorations in ages I've been using the same ones year upon year maybe it might be a nice time to invest in some new ones I saw that next had some in so I might get some of those but yeah I'm really excited to decorate this now might put Christmas baby on in the background no 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 what are you eating now it's time that Maurice starts chewing some wires hey I've also got loads of sensicles. I need to talk to you about these in a bit once I've put the tree together. So I got these things from sensicles. They're called scent sickles. I've used them for years. I had a tub of mold oh tub of mold wine flavoured ones and they lasted well they're still going strong now and I've had them about five years, maybe even longer than that. They smell so good and you just hang them in your tree and they make your tree smell amazing. Last year I stocked up on all the flavours I'd never smelt before so that we could have some fun with them around the house this year. So we've got Christmas berry, spiced pine cone, Christmas tree two dashes of cinnamon and we have with white winter fur we're gonna sniff these now and choose what one we want our tree smelling like whoa cinnamon mm. it's kind of nice white winter fur whoa oh that smells of radox oh salt. yeah <laughs> we don't want it smelling like cleaning products we've got christmas berry that's very nice. Festive. No, you don't like that? Don't like that Spiced pine cones. I think this is going to be a winner for me. Mmm. I like that one in the cinnamon one. <clears throat> and then finally, we've got Christmas tree. I think the problem is we were sniffing it too close up. And if you sniffed it. Oh no, that still smells like cleaning products. <laughs> okay, so maybe we'll do a mix of cinnamon and spiced pine cones. Sounds good. Mm, I wish I could have found the um, mulled wine flavour because that smells so good. Do they just look like this? There's some little hooks like this. You just hide them in your tree because they're kind of the same colour as Christmas trees. So they kind of fade in. But whenever anyone walks past the tree, it'll smell amazing. I'll leave a link to these down below. I normally hide like three or four in the tree, so I'll do two of each. And then also, I'm pretty sure you could like, once the, fl once the smell does go, you could um, drop your own fragrance, like essential oils on. We'll do it at like height level so that people will probably get a sniff when they walk past. Okay, so that's two spiced pine cones and two cinnamon start with four cents causing your tree and add more as necessary they can also be placed in wreaths and garlands and hung as decorations around home i might just hang some around the house for our house party next week as well saves me lighting candles in every room i do like to when we have a house party i do like to have the house smelling like each room to have its own special fragrance i like that kind of immersive olfactory experience when we're when i'm hosting and i love it when people compliment the smells around the house so i think down here i will burn like a, um, a cinnamon apple candle in the kitchen i might burn my is it called the white company christmas candle from last year and then upstairs in the bathroom i like to have like a nice vanilla favourites. Hmm. <laughs> Apparently you roll it. Oh. I did not. <laughs> I'm so much stronger than I think I am. I've made 
accidentally the biggest salad. I've got one and a half eggs, some smoked mackerel, potatoes, green beans, peppers, onion salad. And I'm gonna add some hummus and some beetroot. Ignore the absolute mess of my office today. Um, it's getting to that time where Christmas presents and Black Friday things that I've ordered have started arriving and my life is a bit of a mess. But I wanted to show you what I'm wearing today. I'm just going for lunch with my mom and sister very quickly. I've put on these high-waisted kind of flared jeans that I got from Zara a while ago. These are the first time I'm wearing them out just because I haven't had the confidence before. Did do a reel trying these on which I'll link down below. I also wanted to take them to get altered before I wore them out but I'm just <laughs> getting too impatient so I've just put on my platform converse that way they just touch the ground but they are so flattering, really high-waisted really tight around the thigh and then flare out and yeah I love them wearing them with a very old navy jumper I don't know what it is but whenever I am on my period or due on my period I crave wearing like a darker lipstick I have no idea what that means <laughs> maybe I just feel a little bit more I don't know feminine at that time of the month or I just I don't know it's so weird I can't even explain it so I'm just looking in my lipstick drawer for a colour to wear. The one I want, I don't know where I've put. I want to wear the Clinique Black Honey, but I don't know what I've done with it. Hmm. I'll try this. This is Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Berry Lucky, I think. Whoa! <laughs> I am home from lunch. <laughs> But more recent in the background licking the wall. He is the weirdest cat. Um, oh, I'm just ha having another one of those freaking days. I think I'm getting cystitis, which I haven't had in such a long time. Like, about 10 years ago, I had cystitis so bad that I had, I got like a kidney infection at the same time. My lower back was killing me. I had to go on antibiotics. It was really bad. I'm just having another one of those days where I just feel really low. And I think I've worked it out. <laughs> do you guys do that thing where you just have a sense of sadness and a sense of doom? And so you sit down and try and analyse why you feel like that. But I think I've worked out that my dream last night has really in some way kind of triggered me. And brought up some stuff that I'm very clearly not over yet. I, I haven't really spoken about it online much at all, but um, I had loads of um, family issues come up when we were planning my wedding. And even though my wedding has been and gone, none of it is still really resolved and it, I don't think it ever will be. So I haven't spoken or seen half of my family pretty much since my wedding day. I saw them all at my sister's wedding and they all ignored and avoided me, which was lovely. And yeah, I had a dream last night about my grandparents and I've just woken up feeling very sad. Yeah, I don't know what the point of me mentioning this is. Just, I guess that I try and be very like brave and strong and not let things affect me, but I think deep down I'm obviously still not over it and I'm still really hurt. I'm st I still feel very hurt by things that happened. Um, yeah. And I don't think these people will ever really know or want to listen to how hurt I am by it all. Also, on my mum's side, one of relatives is quite ill and hasn't got long left to live now. So that's really sad. As well, I don't want to cry. I think the fact that I'm actually getting quite <laughs> emotional about it is saying to me that yeah that I am I've got issues and I'm hurt and I don't feel like there's anything for me to resolve but it's sad I just feel very hurt by some members of my family basically <sighs> shit isn't it if anyone else is going through family drama or politics then i just want to say that i hope you're doing okay the right people will be there for you and will respect you and deserve your company it's like this i just feel very lucky to have a cat <laughs> my emotional support cat who i can cuddle and makes me feel better and even though he isn't a lap cat i do feel like he gives me love 
and that is very very a beautiful thing to have um i need to post a brand job i need to edit a brand job and then i need to leave the circus in an hour and a half so i've got quite a lot to do but we're gonna smash it aren't we more weights mm, my baby boy mm.